Hey everyone, in this video we'll cover how to take your projects between Gravity Sketch and Alias and cover some of the useful workflows between the two. Okay, let's jump in. Okay, the first workflow we'll cover is taking a simple line sketch from Gravity Sketch to Alias and using it as curved data. This is really useful if you want to leverage a quick sketch and then do your surfacing in Alias. Okay, so let's go to the Save tab, press Export, and select IGIS. Then we'll select centimeters, Z is up axis, and X and Z is mirror plane to match alias. We also want to make sure that the option in the bottom of the menu is switched to the right so that everything saves to landing pad. Now we can name it, save it, and go to landing pad. Once we're at landing pad, click filters, exports, click the file, and download it to your computer. Now we'll go to file, import, and import file. Click import and then we can select our IGES file and import it into the scene. We're going to keep the original settings because we already adjusted everything in Gravity Sketch to match up with Alias. So we have the loose and tight sketch in the space now and they both have different purposes. The loose sketch can be set as a reference model and the tight sketch can be used to actually create surfaces between the curves. All sketch lines import from Gravity Sketch to Alias as curved data if exported as an IGES, which means they're just as useful as curves made in Alias. The next workflow we'll cover is actually moving sub-D data created in Alias into Gravity Sketch to be further adjusted. So let's select the simple form and then go to File, Export, Active as Subdiv. Then what we want to do is name the file, set the file type to .obj, save the file, and then open up landing pad, select filters, and go to import library. Then click and drag the obj into the import library, and open up Gravity Sketch. In Gravity Sketch, we'll go to the prefabs menu under the blue menu button, select import models, and select the landing pad folder. This is your cloud folder and the place you'll grab any geometry that you import from landing pad. You can reach out and grab the object or point and click and precisely place it in the space. With the menu on the right side, you can select the unit of measurement, locate your object, view it at one-to-one -one scale, change rotation with the arrows, and then import the actual model with the blue check mark. Now we'll take the sub-D object, place it into edit mode by grabbing the object and pressing the blue menu button. Now that it's in an edit mode, we can convert it to a sub-D object and adjust it just like we would anything that we created in Gravity Sketch using sub-D. Okay, next we'll take this sub-D car model that I made and import it into Alias. I've also added these curves that will project onto the surface in Alias. As you can see here, I have all the different parts here separated onto their own layers. Okay, let's press the blue menu button, go to export and select IGES. We'll leave the settings the same as before and press the blue check mark to export. You can also click the recenter button and grab the gizmo on the right hand side to shift around your object before exporting. To return the gizmo on the menu, grab it, hold it, press the red back button to delete it. We'll just leave this for now, name the file, and export it. You also see on your hands, you have indicators showing you the status of the model export. Next, we'll export our sub-D model by selecting OBJ and then Advanced Options. Here, we'll select double-sided, and then export as a control mesh. This won't work if you export as a render mesh, so make sure you select control and then press the back button and keep the same settings as before for unit of measurement, up axis, and mirror plane. Then head over to landing pad, select the filter exports, and download your files. All right, in alias, we'll go to file, import, file, and select our IGES file. Keep the original settings and import that. As you can see, the layers came through into Alias. So we'll just minimize those, go back to File, Import, and Import Subdiv. 
One thing you might notice is the curves came through as an actual geo mesh. Now these won't be useful for us because they're not actual curves, so I'll just select them and delete them. Okay, so now we have both our models in the space. Let's have a look at each one of them and see how they differ in functionality. Let's start with the Aegis model. These surface patches with an Aegis model are independent. We can grab one of the surfaces, move it, and you'll notice that the rest of the body doesn't react to that movement. Now they're still useful surfaces. You can project curves on them, select the CVs, and adjust them just as you would any other NURB alias surface. Our sub-D model operates differently. If we grab the surface patches and move them, the rest of the car model reacts to that. This makes ideation and surface adjustment in Alias a lot faster. You can also use both the Alias sub-D tools and traditional tools on this geometry, making workflows difficult in Gravity Sketch easy in Alias, such as projecting curves and trimming away surfaces. Okay, so I've made some changes to the model. Now let's see what this looks like when we import it back into Gravity Sketch. Okay, first select the entire model, click Export, and Active as Subdiv. Let's name the file, and then select .obj below that, and save it out. To see a preview of what this will look like, just open up the file in Windows. For the next export, we want to make sure the normals are facing the correct direction, so we'll use the Set Visual Orientation tool, and click all the surfaces that are yellow so that the blue ones are facing outwards. Then we'll select everything, go to File, Export, Active As. Select OBJ, then tessellate the object and normalize the UVs. Again, if you want to preview this, just open up the file in Windows. So now let's go back to landing pad, select those two files, and drop them into our import library menu, and then open up Gravity Sketch and create a new sketch. So let's go to imports, landing pad, and then click through till we see those two models. Point and click to load the model in, and then point and click again to load it into the space. So the first model we'll drop into the space was our activeas.obj. You'll see the changes carried over with all the trims that we've made to the surfaces. Now, originally when you import something, it will highlight purple. This means that all of the different shapes are grouped together. To ungroup it, grab, hold, and press the purple menu button again. Now we can grab each one of these individual surfaces, place it into edit mode, and convert it to a sub-D object. However, this is a triangulated mesh, so if you wanted to make some adjustments to it, you would need to delete a lot of points and restructure the data. Having said this, it's a really good model to sketch over and evaluate before you make any further changes. Our sub-D model, on the other hand, is clean, usable data in Gravity Sketch. However, it hasn't solidified the changes that we made with the traditional tools in Alias. If you made changes with the sub-D tools, however, those will carry over into Gravity Sketch. In general, you want to save Alias for the final touches of your project so that you can get all the fine detail that might be laborious in Gravity Sketch or impossible to do, like projecting and trimming surfaces. Hope this video was helpful. I'll see you in the next one.